My name is Ola Kaczorek and I work for uh, Miłość Nie Wyklucza, uh, which is a Polish uh, organization uh, that fights for marriage equality in Poland. Uh, our goals as an association, um, well, the main goal is marriage equality and the way we are trying to uh, achieve that um, it has three, you can call them, legs. Um, we've got a whole strategy um, that we base uh, our activities upon. We are lobbying with politicians and we are, uh, we are uh, talking to them and with them and we are trying to show them um, that the support for the community uh, is actually uh, really profitable. Uh, and we are um, also talking to the general public uh, we are trying to create this movement of uh, allies. We've got um, marriage allies, uh, people, uh, who straight couples who are um, getting married and they are showing the support by uh, pinning uh, uh, a pin, a badge, uh, to the clothing and uh, sending some words of support for us, saying that it's not fair that they can um, get married but some of their friends can't. And there's this third leg, um, the community itself, LGBT plus community, that we are trying to strengthen um, and talk to uh, for them to realize that they have something to be proud of and they should have a right to get married. Uh, there are no uh, other ways to um, formalize your, uh, your uh, once again, there are no, uh, no such, there's no such thing as the civil union or other partnership regarding same sex uh, relations. So we don't have any, uh, any, you know, civil partnership unions, anything like that, that we could um, be protected by, uh, by the state. So we are fighting for marriage equality, but we actually don't have any other kind of uh, uh, regulations right now in Poland. Yes, we don't have, in Poland, we don't have uh, any uh, hate crime uh, laws and paragraphs that could protect us. We don't have um, gender recognition acts. We don't have actually anything that could protect us uh, and we could be protected by the law. So um, marriage equality could be something amongst of course other things that are also really, really important. It could be something that could protect us and we could feel safer um, because right now we don't have any kind of protection from the state and from the law uh, and also um, it's about you know values it's about being equal and I don't see a reason why shouldn't I be able to get married to my uh, to, to my partner when my friends and my family uh, can't. Um, LGBT plus community um, in Poland is facing right now um, a bit tough and hard situation uh, because for the past few months, well, we've been uh, in Poland, we've been in a state of um, constant uh, electoral campaign for the past few months because um, there were uh, local governmental uh, elections then. Uh, then we had uh, European uh, elections and in the autumn we will have um, national uh, government and, uh, governmental elections. So uh, this year, uh, more, more than a year actually, uh, has been really, really um, intense uh, as for the political uh, climate. And unfortunately, the ruling party has based their campaign on hating uh, specific groups and this year, this season, uh, this group has been uh, LGBT plus community. So for the past, past few months we've been treated as a scapegoat, I think, uh, by the uh, ruling party, it's called Law and Justice, <laughs> um, ironically. And we've been, we, we've been treated as uh, scapegoats to uh, point at uh, as something that is a threat to Polish family, uh, to Polish values. We've been treated as something uh, foreign and not local. Mm, and so for the past few months, I think the situation has really gone uh, bad. We had um, 
a pride uh, season. So lots and lots of pride marches uh, have been uh, marching down different cities uh, and towns, even smaller towns. And a um, few, week, uh, few weeks uh, before, I think two or three weeks uh, before, uh, there was a march in Białystok. It's in the east of Poland. And there was, um, well, basically almost a riot broke because uh, lots and lots of protesters stood on the way of the march. Um, they were shouting, they were throwing things. They were throwing bricks and stones and bottles filled with this. Uh, they were uh, running around with baseball bats trying to, uh, they called it actually, uh, sorry for, for the wording, they called it actually a fag hunt. So they were hunting for people on the streets. Uh, and police, uh, well, they did something but didn't do enough because when the march ended, they just disappeared. The police just mm -hmm. disappeared. So people were really vulnerable for these uh, attacks and were unprotected from them. So Białystok, uh, I think from today's perspective, I think was this um, turning point where everyone who didn't believe that uh, you know political climate uh, has been changing. Changing uh, now, they have seen it and they can't deny it. So the whole community is right now under attack from the uh, the state, from the government, and from the people because of that. Because the government holds uh, public media, um, and they are you know throwing that propaganda at us, and it is sinking into people's brains. Well, the possibility. Um, Again, sorry for sentences. Um, previous governments, um, well, we spoke with them and we treated them as partners and tried to, you know, push the bill into their hands because we have a bill that's already been written uh, and is ready just to, you know, go to the uh, parliament and get voted. But previous uh, previous ruling party, um, they are trying to be more progressive, I think. But it's only a surface, uh, and when you scratch it, it you know the the same old homophobia shows up. Uh, so um, there was no way of um, introducing marriage equality, uh, but we were at least able to uh, talk to them and reason with them. And some of them, uh, some of the MPs understood what we are talking about and were on our side. Right now, it's, it's quite different. Um, so what we are hoping for is uh, during these uh, uh, closest elections that the opposition will gain a majority in the government, so the ruling party uh, won't be uh, ruling anymore. Well, um, during the uh, Pride March in Białystok, there were some people um, who needed some medical attention uh, afterwards, but there were no, uh, you know, deaths. And I think it was kind of a miracle because really flying, uh, flying rocks and bricks could really kill you. Uh, and also baseball bats can do that too. So um, since then and before, even before that, uh, homophobic attacks have been um, more, well, the rate has increased. Um, and we are doing some polls uh, when we ask people about their acceptance of LGBT plus people and, and our uh, ideas, marriage equality and stuff. And the polls are showing that, well, the polls are standing in place. So they're not moving uh, left or right. Uh, before the trend was that it they were growing a little bit. So uh, the acceptance was growing a little bit. Right now they, they stand in place. But on the other hand, it's a good thing because I would think that with this whole propaganda uh, thrown at people from their TV screens, from uh, magazines, online uh, pages, uh, that this will actually uh, drop so uh, they're not dropping. People are people have 
stopped, I think. So the the society is clearly divided into into two. Um, and we don't actually know what to do with it, especially without um, any um, hate crime legislations that we that we can use to protect ourselves. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to support as an organization that is bigger and is placed in Warsaw, which is the capital of Poland. Uh, we try to uh, support um, local groups local grass uh, grassroots movements we are trying to support them um and uh, what we are basing our uh, our activities on is uh, the feeling of solidarity because the worst thing that could happen is for someone to feel uh, alone in everything that's uh, that's happening right now because when you feel alone you don't have this kind of support that you need so we are trying to you know show everyone that Nobody is alone in this because we are a big community uh, that understands each other. So the ruling party is um, scapegoating us right now, but they used um, the same strategy in the previous elections uh, and they used uh, refugees then. And it has worked. So the ruling party knows that uh, rallying up people against some group is a good way of... Um, you know, making people actively uh, participating in the political life so they will vote because they know they have something uh, that they should oppose uh, and say it out loud during the elections. Um, and as for the, you know, normal everyday people who are used in this, um, in this campaign, uh, well, Poland economically um, is not a good place um, and people are um, trying to you know find a reason for that because it's not fair and I know it's not fair that some people have more and some people have less even though they work just as just as hard um, and so I think sometimes you just need a justification for that and you just need a reason um, why is that? And uh, law and justice, the ruling party is giving that reason. Before, there were refugees, which we actually don't have that many in Poland, uh, but it was enough. And now this is LGBT plus community because we are shown as something foreign, as something uh, that's not Polish uh, in its core, um, something that wants to um, hurt their kids, that wants to change their lives. Uh, and it's a thing that they can focus on instead of thinking about all of the in inequalities that actually um, touch them. Sure. So for the past few months, uh, some of the um, local governments have um, have said that their uh, specific counties uh, and jurisdictions are uh, LGBT free zones. Uh, which actually is not a binding law, uh, it's just a um, act, act of maybe not will, uh, it's just a statement, uh, but it's there uh, nonetheless. And it, so it practically means nothing. But on the other hand, if you're a, a queer person live, living there, um, then you don't feel at home anymore, right? You don't feel uh, like you should be there. You don't feel welcome. It's legitimi legitimizing, uh, you know, attacks, homophobic attacks, and uh, and every uh, every other thing that is not not good for the community. And actually, um, some time ago, one magazine, uh, one magazine issued a a um, issued a magazine with uh, with stickers saying this is an LGBT free zone um, with you know a red cross uh, across the uh, the rainbow flag so um, what we did some of some of our uh, one of our friends actually sued them uh, but uh, what we did we is was we uh, issued other some other stickers with rainbow on them saying here you can be yourself and so when people bought 
these magazines and placed those stickers on their cars, on their doors, on their windows. Uh, we distributed uh, other stickers saying that here you can be yourself, you can be diverse, you can be whoever you are. Uh, and people are actually using them. There are lots and lots of restaurants, uh, cafes, shops, uh, who are uh, now placing their stickers with the rainbow on them saying that, you know, we are open for everyone and we don't want that kind of uh, hatred uh, to, to, to be in our, you know, shops and restaurants and stuff. So uh, when there's an action, there's a reaction usually, and it all uh, fits into this um, division that, uh, that is in Poland right now. Uh, that we have, you know, two groups. One group, uh, one group is uh, definitely uh, against any equality for uh, LGBT plus community, and the other group is slowly taking a stand because it consists of people who um, maybe before said, "Okay, I accept LGBT plus people," but. I don't know why should I speak up about this. Now they are speaking up because they are they they can see where it leads. Yes, right now uh, it's yeah it's a really hard time for us as the as the community, and <clears throat> what we need from an um, international community from other countries, uh, especially West, because West usually has more uh, money. Uh, <laughs> is to look at us and see us and recognize our problems and our struggles. Because first of all, we uh, really need to feel solidarity. And we can't, like I said, we can't feel alone. It, it goes for individuals, but it also goes for the whole communities. So when uh, some journalists are asking me uh, for uh, for some interviews and they're from some other countries um, it is it is good already because we know that some people care and we're not alone so this is one thing uh, another thing is for uh, countries uh, in the um, European Union uh, to speak up in the Parliament in the European Parliament about this uh, situation that's been going on in Poland and another thing, uh, is, as I said in the beginning, money, because we need money to, uh, you know, be able to work, um, because activism is, I think, a full-time job, um, and we really, really need support, like, this basic, basic uh, kind of support. We know what to do, but we just yeah. don't always have have the means for it. It's, it's easier in Warsaw, so it's easier for my organization. But if you're from uh, Białystok, let's say, or, or Lublin, it's not safe. It's not safe. You can just get beaten up.